next wonderful time of the year. Hey y'all, if you're new here, I'm Christine. Welcome to my channel. And if you're not new here, hey boo, I see you coming back. You guys, do you know what today's video is? Hello, it is our Bath and Body Work Candle Day 2021. Last year, this video was such a hit. You guys were really here for me spending all my coin at Bath and Body Works and sis, I am here to not let you down yet again. I have two bags, one and two of all the things I got at Bath and Body Works. I'm going to take you through my candle selections. I was honestly really surprised to see how many new scents there were. I am fairly new to this whole like YouTube scene, Bath and Body Works hauls. I was really hoping to have new scents, but I was not at all expecting what happened. I thought for sure there was gonna be a lot of repeats of last year. I knew I loved what I loved, but we're gonna get into it. I have a bunch of new goodies to show you I'm really excited about. If you are also excited about candles, if you also went to Bath & Body Works Candle Day, or if you just love being here, spending your time here, you're here every Wednesday and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here for the holidays. Sis, I promise you won't regret it, but let's jump into it. Okay, first and foremost, I always like to get bad news before I get the good news. So bad news is, if you watch my video from last year, you know that Berry Waffle Cone is my all time favorite scent at Bath & Body Works. Like nothing compares, can you see him? Chase is under my tree. Nothing compares to Berry Waffle Cone for me and also one of my other top favorites is Paris Cafe. I am coffee obsessed if you haven't you know, already put that stuff together. I'm coffee obsessed and Paris Cafe just gives me everything coffee that I need. They have other scents like whipped coffee and there's another coffee scent I think I might've picked up but it just, it doesn't compete, it doesn't compare. So that is my bad news. That was just for me though. Somebody did text me today Shout out to you girl. And let me know that my hometown store has a bunch of berry waffle cones. So if you're from my hometown, that was there. Let me know if you grabbed it. She did put two on hold for me and then I forgot to go by there. And I'm so sorry that I did that. But I, I completely slipped my mind and I'm so bummed about it. Let's jump into what we did get now that you have that information. We're just gonna randomly go and get into this. Ooh, this is our first one is brown sugar latte. This is what she looks like. This packaging is kind of cute. Let me just be the bearer of bad news. I hate these paper coverings when Bath & Body Works put these covers. You can see where it connects back here. When Bath & Body Works put these covers over the candles because they always burn. They're not burn proof. Like I don't know who allows these things to happen happen but y'all should really stop doing that because it's not safe and this is the one i was talking about that's coffee scent i do get slightly coffee and i do get brown sugar and i just so you are aware i am brown sugar cinnamon coffee obsessed anything brown sugar anything cinnamon i absolutely die for this holiday season so this was literally everything i needed i'm gonna light it keep y'all posted on my instagram how things smell once they're lit and how i feel about them in my house this gives me very coffee but it also gives me something I don't know, like I'm here for the concept, I'm here for the idea, but the overall execution I feel like could be slightly better. It's almost like a cream that I get, like a cream scent. And I know that sounds weird. Let's see, fresh roasted coffee, frothed milk. Tell me I don't know my candles, girl. Tell me I don't know my candles. Frothed milk, sugar praline, and natural essentials. There's not even brown sugar in here. I feel bamboozled. I definitely get like a milky flavor from this and I don't know how I feel about it, but the coffee hits for me. We're gonna see how it smells burned though. I will keep you posted. Next, we have, again, the same packaging. I hardly got any duplicates. This is cinnamon clove bud. Mmm, you know what this smells like? Ooh, my Mexicanas out there. This smells like big red gum. Maybe it's not even, maybe it's a Texas thing. I don't know, but if you've ever had big red gum, and if you haven't had big red gum, it's like a it's like a cinnamon, like a cinnamon gum, I believe. This is literally what that smells like. Like it's literally big red gum and a candle. It smells so freaking good. The cinnamon is just spicy enough. The clove, I don't get as much clove as I get cinnamon. Oh, I just want to bite it. This smells absolutely delicious. I am obsessed. Again, the packaging has this paper on it. So when you burn candles like that, please just be careful, you guys. Next. 
Again, same packaging. I love this plaid that they went with. As much as I hate these papers, I love this plaid. This is vanilla balsam. I hear all the time that people's favorites are the balsam scents. That's kind of what I have throughout the house because I do do a fake tree, but this is vanilla balsam. And if you don't know, if you're new, this is the first candle video you've seen. I am obsessed with sweet scents. I will pick a berry waffle cone over a floral scent literally any day. I am sweet scent obsessed. Yeah, this is the most perfectly blended candle I've ever smelled in my entire life. I assumed initially off the bat that the balsam was gonna take over the vanilla like super heavy and that's not at all what happened here. It is perfectly split between the vanilla. I can still get the balsam, but it's not overpowering. The vanilla's not overpowering. I get both and they blend so beautifully. I feel like this is gonna be one of my favorites once it's lit for Christmas. I just feel like this is gonna give me everything I need for Christmas and I'm really hyped about it. Next. Okay, I wasn't really here for this packaging. I just feel like it's very, I don't know. I don't like it. Like I'm not a fan at all. I just feel like it looks kind of cheap. I'm just not really here for it. And it's pink, not the biggest fan. This is crushed candy cane. Oh my God. I do believe I got this one last year. It just smells like a peppermint dream. And I am not at all a peppermint girl. I don't like the taste of peppermints. I've never been a fan of peppermint, but this scent is just so peppermint and it just, just smells so refreshing. It just smells so fresh and nice. And I don't know, I just absolutely love it. So as much as I don't like to eat candy canes, I do remember my house smelling like this last year and I was absolutely obsessed. I do like the packaging they had last year better than this one. I think the last year it was candy canes around it and it was like molded. It wasn't like a paper. That was really nice. So this smells delicious. Packaging, not so much. She's not a fan. Next, we have winter candy apple. And this is the same kind of packaging. I don't know what this packaging is. Like they just stuck a sticker on it and I'm not here for it. How do you feel about apple scent? Let me know. Oh my God, that smells delicious. I don't know, this scent like takes me back to childhood. Something about apple scents just bring me back to childhood. And I don't know what it is. Like the apple doesn't smell like apple at all, but you know what an apple candle smells like. Like I'm sure right now in your head, you can imagine what an apple candle smells like. It doesn't smell like a real apple, but the apple scent is literally gives me life. It takes me back to my childhood. It smells so clean. Something about an apple smells so clean to me. I'm so intrigued. Candied apples, crisp pears, oranges. Maybe it's the orange in here that makes it smell fresh. It smells absolutely delicious. Ugh. Why does that smell so good? I can't even tell you what it smells like. Like I feel like I'm not doing this one justice by just telling you it smells like apples because it's so much more than apples, but it's so heavily apples. And I know that does not make any sense at all. Trust me, I know, but it smells delicious. This might be one of my top favorites, but it's sweet. I don't know, between the vanilla balsam and this, we're, we're kind of close, sis. We're kind of close. Let's keep going. I hate this packaging. I do not like this. I'm just such a basic B word. I'm a basic baby back B word when it comes to my packaging on my candles. I just like a clean look. I don't want all of this frilly nilly burn my house down packaging. Like I'm just not here for it. I just feel like they're, they don't have anything that's their own. The white barn, I love how clean, crisp and aesthetic that is. But like Bath and Body Works, I don't feel like has anything that's their trademark. Like nothing, I would never be able to re just recognize a Bath and Body Works candle because I just feel like they're all over the place. This is cotton candy champagne. Why would I pick this up? Let's see. This smells like something. It's not cotton candy. What is that? It smells like something and it's giving me a very vivid memory, but I don't know what it is. <sighs> what is that? I don't know what that is. Maybe that's why I bought it. Cotton candy, bubbly rose, sweet strawberry, pink sugar. What the heck is pink sugar? <laughs> strawberry. It's the strawberry. It's the, definitely the strawberry in here for me. That's what I'm smelling. It smells like, it just smells like a strawberry candle. How did they get cotton candy? What in the world champagne? This smells really good. I think this is a very girly scent that I would probably light for like in the girl's bathroom. Like something I would put in a very girly setting. Very sweet. It's honestly almost too sweet, but it does smell really nice. The strawberries are hitting. They smell almost like candied strawberries. Like if there was, okay, melted sugar, like imagine in your brain, just go there, go there with me, stay with me, right? Like you're cooking sugar down and then strawberries, like a strawberry, like, okay, 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 listen, listen, listen. You know the topping you put on your cheesecake? The strawberry topping that you put on your cheesecake? That's literally what this smells like. I knew it was taking me somewhere and we got there. My aunt always makes this strawberry topping for his cheesecake. My mother-in-law also makes it too. That's what this candle smells like. Strawberry topping. Yes, ma'am, that's what it is. 
Ooh, I knew we would get there. I knew we would get there. That is literally exactly what this is. Go smell this candle and tell me that's not what this is. That's what this is. I don't know how I feel about it. It's fine. I don't know if I'll like it very much once it's lit, but we will see. Okay, again, with the packaging, I don't know. Let me know how you feel about Bath & Body Works packaging. Do you care what the packaging on your candles looks like or do you not care? I care because I feel like the candles displayed, like I want it to match, you know, everything that's going on and I just don't know how I feel about it sometimes. This is sugared snickerdoodle. Just an FYI, snickerdoodles are my all time top favorite cookies. Like I love me some cookies. White chocolate macadamia, I don't discriminate on cookies. I am obsessed with cookies. If I could pick a dessert, I would want fresh baked cookies. They just send me. But snickerdoodles? I'm obsessed. If it's my birthday, or if you wanna send me something to make me feel happy, send me warm snickerdoodles. That's all I ask out of life, is to be sent warm snickerdoodles. That's it. <clears throat> this is sugared snickerdoodle, which snickerdoodles are just covered in sugar and cinnamon, so they're already sugared, sis. <laughs> this candle? I literally wanna eat it. I literally wanna bite it. And you know, I love sweet scents, but it's probably really bad for me. They just make me wanna eat sweets and that's horrible. I do not need to, every time I light a sweet candle just makes me want to eat something sweet. And I should probably refrain from that this Christmas season, but I'm gonna eat a cookie if I want a cookie. See, the thing about snickerdoodles is you get the butter, you get the sugar, you get the cinnamon, and I can smell all of those things in this candle. I can smell the butter, I can smell the sugar, I can smell the cinnamon. It is literally a dream. I'm obsessed. That's a dream. I absolutely am obsessed. This might be one of our top, and I know that I've said that three times, but we're gonna, we're gonna pick a winner at the end. Don't even worry, girl. We have six more because I only bought 13 candles this year. Last year I bought 16 and I feel like I was just doing too much. Like you're just doing too much. I feel like being on YouTube and people seeing everything that they're seeing on the internet, they always feel the need to go bigger. And I just can't be bothered. Like I don't care that much, but I just feel like last year for me, I got 16. I feel like that was way too many, but I feel like last year, I liked a lot more scents than I liked this year. I feel like this year I was very picky on my scents and only picked up things that I actually really, really enjoyed. Then last year I was just like obsessed, but I feel like they had, they were more geared towards my preference last year than they were this year. So there's that. Cause I'll pick up as many as I want. And I genuinely wanted 13. This next one, can we just talk about this packaging? This is what I mean when I say packaging. This, I can get behind. They had a red one like this. I genuinely didn't like the smell of the red one, but the red was so beautiful and it had this top just like this blue one, but it was red. I was absolutely obsessed, but I just didn't love the scent. This scent was really good, so I picked this one up because I just really wanted to show you guys this packaging because if Bath & Body Works could do this, I could be behind it. This is iced blueberry biscotti. Okay, bougie. Blueberry dum dum. Blueberry dum dum. That's literally what this is. Blueberry dum dum. Tell me, tell me right now, the blueberry dum dums are not your favorite dum dums. Because if they're not, sis, we just, maybe we can be friends because I'll just eat all the blueberry ones and you can have literally everything else. I do not care. But the blueberry dum-dums? That's literally what this smells like. It's all blueberry. I don't know what a biscotti is, granted. I don't know what a biscotti smells like, granted. But I do smell blueberries. Sugared blueberries, sweet vanilla, almond biscotti, brown sugar. Why did they put brown sugar in this and not in the brown sugar latte? I have questions about the Body Works. I have questions. Okay, okay, I remember how I felt about this one when I saw it in store. This is hot cocoa and cream. And this one sent me. Okay, I know hot cocoa does not all smell the same. You know the Swiss, the box of Swiss hot chocolate. You open it, the powder fluffs up from being ripped open and hits you in the nostrils. That's literally what this is. That very moment that you open it and it whoosh, goes up into the air, into your face, that's what this smells like. Oh, and then it's brewing. The hot chocolate is brewing. I can, you're stirring it into your warm milk. You're stirring it on the stove top. It's not Abuelitas. It's not Abuelitas hot cocoa. It is the box of Swiss hot chocolate. That's literally what this is. And it's a dream. I don't know what it's gonna smell like once it's lit. I feel like the fire and this might give it something nice and sweet, but it might honestly take away from it because I feel like this is kind of subtle, but we will see. Stay tuned. I will let you know on my Instagram how this goes, but I'm really excited. It just gives me cold winter day 
with the warm cup of hot cocoa. I love the top on this one. The little snowflakes are adorable. And I love like the plain packaging. Like if you just give me one sticker, I'm cool with this. This I'm okay with. Everything else, I don't know how I feel. Moving on, this is Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. And I do believe last year I really liked this one. I think this was a close second to Berry Waffle Cone. Yes, it was. I can tell you right now, yes it was. <laughs> oh, it's the cinnamon roll for me, sis. It's the cinnamon roll for me and the fact that I will go buy some cinnamon rolls right now. Horace and I, before we had kids, he's obsessed with cinnamon rolls. We used to just eat cinnamon rolls constantly. Like every other night I would make us warm, fresh cinnamon rolls. I miss those days. Baby, we gotta get some cinnamon rolls. Um, so yeah. Oh, maybe we can do that for Christmas morning. I can be part of the little thing. And light this candle, it's gonna be a whole little aesthetic. Make sure you're following my Instagram so you can see all that happen. But this smells absolutely delicious. Cinnabon has this caramel pecan cinnamon bun. Girl, go try one. You've, you're missing out on life if you have not had one of those. That's what this smells like. And it just sends me, I am obsessed with this. This might be the favorite. This might be the favorite. I'm gonna put this one over here because it might be the favorite. I know it was a close second last year to Berry Waffle Cone, but it is really good. Okay, next. Spiced gingerbread. I think I did pick this one up last year too, but because I told you the story about the people that I nannied for, how their mom would always make ginger snaps every year, and that's where this sends me. It just gives me good memories. If you can't light a candle and it doesn't give you good memories or like a warm comfort, like that's what candles are for me. I can have plugins. I have plugins all throughout my house. Like I have plugins all day long, but they don't give me a warm feeling like lighting it and then smelling it throughout the house. Something about a good candle just, it just sets a mood for me. Let me know down below if you understand what I'm saying because it's just a whole mood for me. This just gives me so many good memories. All of the spices of the gingerbread. It almost smells like, I do get gingerbread, but I also get like those cinnamon broomsticks. I also get that as well. So there has to be some cinnamon in here. Yeah, vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, fresh ground nutmeg. Yeah, that's a journey. I love that journey for me. We only have two more candles. Okay, I'm gonna say this one for last. Okay, because <laughs> it has to be last. Let's do this one. This is, okay, listen. If you saw my last candle haul, I did the buying the top rated candles at Bath and Body Works and they had an intense mahogany teak wood. I'm obsessed. If you are a man watching this video and you need some tips, go to Bath and Body Works, buy some mahogany teak wood, light that ish up in your house, invite her over. It's a wrap, it's a wrap. I promise you, I got you. I got you, I'm married, but I got you. The mahogany teakwood is just such a masculine energy. Like it just gives me strong masculine energy, but this is mahogany vanilla. Like, excuse me, my camera literally just died. Been there the whole time because now I'm slightly embarrassed. As I was saying, this is mahogany vanilla. And I'm obsessed with the mahogany teakwood, so this, Ooh, it's just so masculine. It's the masculinity for me. It's just so masculine. The vanilla gives it like a sweet scent. I bought Horace this cologne. It is the most delicious scent you could possibly imagine because as masculine as it is, it has a touch of sweetness and it sends me. You have no idea, like it sends me. If you wanna know what that is, DM me and I will hook you up, I'll let you know. But that's what this gives me. This scent is so good. It is so good. If you're a man, mahogany vanilla. If you have a husband and you kind of want to let him think that the house is his for a little bit, mahogany vanilla. If you don't got a man, but you want a man and you invite him over and he's like, girl, what is that scent? You said, it's mahogany vanilla, baby. Tea. This one smells absolutely delicious. This is definitely a top favorite of mine. I'm obsessed. It can't beat my sweet scents though. Like as much as I love me a masculine scent, it can't beat my sweet scents. Like I'm sorry, I just can't. Last but not least, it was the packaging for me. I can't even lie. I don't even know, remember what this candle smells like. I literally have zero idea, but this packaging, tell me, this isn't going to be everything in my filming space. Look at this packaging. You guys know I am sunflower obsessed. These are not sunflowers, but they are yellow flowers and I'm absolutely obsessed with the packaging on this candle. I immediately saw it and I was like, yes. Yes, ma'am, you're coming home with me. You are coming home to me. You're going to live in my YouTube studio and I'm gonna love you forever. This gives me something very familiar. Okay. I used to wear as a child, as a teenager, as a little teeny bop. I used to wear DKNY apple, the green apple scent. And that's what this is giving me. That's 
no wonder I bought this candle. That perfume reminds me so much of my brother because he used to get it for me constantly. I was obsessed with that perfume. It's still around. If you've never smelled it, the DKNY, it's a little silver top and green bottom. It looks like a little apple. That's literally what this smells like. This smells so good. It is sunshine and daffodils. I am obsessed with this candle. It can't be my favorite just because it's not the right up my alley scent. It's very floral scent, but I do love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love that so much. All right, you guys, that is all of my Bath and Body Works that I picked up over the weekend. I'm gonna have to do it. This caramel cinnamon is gonna have to be the top for this year. This is taking the cake only because Berry Waffle Cone is not here. This is our honorable mention, if you will. This is our winner for this year. I also really enjoyed the, the vanilla balsam was really good. I really enjoyed this one. There's so many good new scents over at Bath and Body Works. And if you missed the candle day sale, don't even worry, girl. They're all constantly on sale over Halloween. I think there was like a buy one, get one free. They're always running promos. So this is just the cheapest they ever are. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know down below what you picked up at Candle Day. Was that was your top favorite? Always interact with me. I love to hear from you guys in the comments. I don't ever get to see you. You see me all the time, and I feel like I don't know who you are. Liking and sharing and that kind of stuff. I really want to get to know you guys. If you are interested, please subscribe to my channel. We would absolutely love to have you. I'm here every single Wednesday. I will put up my five days of Christmas collabs, the week of Christmas. It's getting filmed, it's getting edited, and it will all be up very soon. And I'm so excited to spend the holidays with you guys thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next wednesday bye it's heavy Whew. hold please chase Whew. chase chase cool it down go go he's playing with the ball literally right here while i'm trying to film i need to break my mouth straight Whataburger, sponsor me. Chase is playing with the bug. It looks like a roly poly. Oh, it's an ant. It's a very large ant. Ah! Well, Chase, you're not even trying to kill it, bro. So, oh, this ant is still alive. Why are you so large? Ow, okay, nappy head ass little girl.